Now we have something very cool to show you. NVIDIA announced a new gaming console, and here to give us the scoop on it is Yujesh Desai. NVIDIA's Project Shield is in front of us, so I'm very excited to finally see this. This is very cool. So can you tell us a little bit about it and what your goal was to, to introduce and shock everyone with this? <laughs> <laughs> sure. So, uh, you know, a bunch of us at NVIDIA are gamers. Uh, actually, a lot of folks at NVIDIA are gamers. We love playing That's games. Shocking. So we kind of we wanted to start first with building something that we would love ourselves. Mm -hmm. So uh, we knew on the console side, you know, you got folks like Sony, Microsoft, right. Nintendo, they're doing a fantastic job, mm -hmm. you know, doing stuff for the console gamers. What about the PC and Android gamers? Mm -hmm. You know, it's a huge ecosystem, anything from free to play all the way to premium uh, games. Right. So we said, wouldn't it be cool if we had a mobile device, you know, a gaming portable that was built for open platforms, both PC and Android? So that's what we've got here in Project Shield. So basically, it's got a built-in console-grade controller because as gamers, you want to have a console, you know, that or a controller that feels good. It's got to feel great in yeah, your hands. That's, that's a lot like the, the Xbox controller, which I love. I mean, yeah, you know, if if it's not broke, don't try and right. fix it, right? I mean, <laughs> so it's got a five-inch screen that's uh, fully touch-enabled. So and it's got a touch is, uh, screen. This is the latest version of Android. This is the latest version of Android. We wanted to make sure it had pure Android. You know, lots of Android purists that don't want anything on top of it, right. so it's pure Android. And then what we built is this little application that we call the Shield app. And when you go into the Shield app, I'll just kind of drive from behind. By the way, you guys have me driving it from behind, making oh, wow. my life a little bit that difficult is, here. Uh, but that is some skills right there. Basically, uh, the Shield app is an application that sits on top. It'll have any game that you've purchased mm -hmm. through Android automatically show up there. You can go to Google Play, browse all the games that they have there as well. Right. And then probably the coolest thing is you can actually, we don't have it here, obviously I didn't drag it over here, but in your home network, you could actually connect to your PC and stream all of your PC games and play it on here right, as well. Right, which we were saying, it's kind of cool, you could prop, your, you could prop up in bed and play Assassin's Creed while, you know, while your wife's sleeping next to you. Exactly. Nice is little benefit. A, is this what guys think about? <laughs> kind of, yeah. <laughs> Try to figure out how to have that, you know, quality time. Exactly. With You're spending time with her, but you're playing your game as well. So I get, I get that. <laughs> so uh, let's see. What else can I tell so you? Why don't we me, check uh, out one of the games? Yeah. Can I? Uh, well, so I'm gonna have to turn it around yeah, to go play right the ahead. game. Go okay. For Let me. Uh, all right. So let's see. I'm gonna fire up a boxing game, and uh, do you want to play? Uh, sure. We'll yeah. Yeah. So I'm gonna turn that, hand that over to you. Absolutely. So All basically, right. the thumbsticks work just like they normally would. You got A, B, Y are the different, you know, uh, moves you can do. I think if you hit the right thumbstick, you can do an uppercut. Let me actually show you one thing really cool. Let's crank up the audio here. The other thing we put in here with these uh, these custom tune port stereo speakers. Oh yeah. That oh, yeah. are you know, kind of like a jam box. Yeah, I can hear so from it's, here. So it's it's yeah, fully built in. Oh, I heard the bell go off. Oh yeah. <laughs> I haven't really connected yet, but oh, that was me getting punched a lot. <laughs> you know, don't feel bad. The AI beat me up as well. Are you taking to it kind of like I'm, intuitively? Yes. The, you know what? The controls, like I said, feel like the Xbox 360 controller. Uh, the joystick's pretty intuitive. Feels good. Uh, and the graphics are pretty impressive. Like I said. Yeah, so inside I should mention that's got a Tegra 4, which was our other big announcement here at the show. So it's right. our brand new uh, mobile processor that we announced. It's got a, a quad-core A15 CPU in it, but it's also got our custom 72-core GPU in it. Wow. So those are all the graphics that are processing what you see on the I screen. I love how there. Roger's taking an interview I'm and gaming I'm at the same to time. Pay attention First while in his journalism career, maybe, perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this is, this is definitely a highlight or a milestone for my career. I mean, the thing I love about the device is, you know, you can play games on it, but because it is pure Android, you know, I log in with my Gmail account, I can play music, I can watch movies, I can read books on this, I can read magazines, you know, so, YouTube. Uh, anything, anything you can do on an Android device? Anything you do on an Android device, you can do here. Here, let's, you know, crank up the music here. Let's see. So, it becomes, it becomes a portable stereo. Yeah, it's like, yeah. A, it's music like an iPod right now. touch, basically. Oh, yeah, I would just, it's like an iPod touch. I just with carry this from room to room. With a controller hooked into it. With a built-in iPod touch dock. Right, <laughs> right. Like, oh. So I, well, I have to ask, I mean, is this, what is the purpose of this of this Project Shield? Are you, are you taking on Nintendo? Is this your take on, on console games? Because, uh, you know, it had us, for one thing, it was, it was very impressive. Like, I think that uh, the crowds were very surprised, I think very pleased to see this uh, during the press conference uh, because it's just sort of, it, it doesn't really fit into a category. So I'm just curious, 
for NVIDIA, what, what's, the, what's the intent behind this device? The intent was to uh, build something that we wanted to use ourselves. Okay. <laughs> Frankly, it's nothing more, uh, nothing more than that. I mean, you know, a, a lot of times people try to put you in boxes. You know, that's a console gamer. You know, and then when, uh, you know, sorry, it's a PC gamer. And then when a console comes out, every year you see this when the, the refresh happens. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is the year PC is dead. And it just never happens. PC gamers, you know, still play on PC. Right. Now I see a lot of the tech reports going, man, look at all these tablets and everything. You know, second screen. I think now the console is dead. You know, and that's not true either. Right. I'm a gamer. I got two consoles at home, mm -hmm. a tablet, right. a phone, a PC. I just like playing games anywhere. So, I mean, this, this absolutely looks sexy. When can I buy it? So we're targeting, the, the, it's Project Shield right now. It is a product. We are going to bring it to market. Uh, and right now we're targeting Q2 of this year. And how much will I have to pay for it? We are going to disclose that as we get closer to uh, product availability. Is it going to be close in range to what you would typically pay for a portable gaming system? I mean, something in that? You know, we've got to think through it. Because okay. as, as we just talked about right now, it's, it's an iPod Touch with a you know, built-in dock. It's got right. the console controller. It's got uh, you know, speakers equivalent to like a jam box. It's got not only your Android games, your PC games. It's, it's a lot for us to think through. Right now, we just wanted to build a, a great product. Well, I got to ask, um, you know, with this being a giant leap into like, selling hardware, what do you think is going to be the biggest challenge for the company to focus on or that you might are worried about coming across because you haven't been in that zone before? That's a great question. I think you know, the biggest thing is we are now going, you know, we've always sold product to consumers mm -hmm. you know, through our partners. Mm -hmm. But this is pretty much our first direct-to-consumer product. Mm -hmm. So we got to really raise our game. And, and that's why we're making sure, you know, and it's one of the reasons, frankly, we called it Project Shield, mm -hmm. is because we want to make sure it's ready. You know, we're all going to have an extensive internal beta test that I got to tell you, the company's really looking forward to. <laughs> I can imagine. <laughs> so we're going to really, you know, take our times, make sure we get it right, make sure the controls feel well, the thumbsticks, the D-pad, all the buttons, make sure the speakers are good. You know, more importantly, make sure the streaming is flawless, right. you know, because that's a main value proposition for the product. So we want to make sure streaming from your PC, you know, and it's basically a GeForce GTX PC is what you need on one end. Right. And that would stream to here. So we want to make sure all of that, you know, works flawlessly.